Now let's get to some closing thoughts on the figure skating competition from the 1992 gold medalist and today's special correspondent, Christy Yamaguchi, who now joined us. Christy, what a night last night was. Have we ever in the history of skating seen this number of A-plus, top-level performances from so many? Well, not in the recent future. I haven't seen all the Olympics, but t last night was absolutely special. The top eight girls pretty much all skated clean routines. We didn't see falls, and, um, you know, that's such an incredible level to see here at the Olympics. You know, last night we were able to go, Meredith and Natalie and I, and, you know, I got to see, watching Kim Yuna, what you've been talking about ever since we have started talking mm -hmm. to you about these games. There's a kind of magic mm -hmm. when she's on the ice. There is, and she's got pretty much the whole package. As you can see, the speed that she has on the ice, the jumps were so solid. She skated with incredible confidence and calm last night, considering how much pressure was on her. But, you know, her overall skating and the way she lights up the ice is definitely something special. You know, we probably should mention she got the highest score ever awarded in a combined skate. And, and even before she discovered that she had gotten that score, she started to sob a bit, which was unlike her. She even said so herself. Well, I think just, you know, she's been so composed the whole two weeks here. And as you can see, oh, here's one of her jumps that just soars in the air. I mean, it's just her athletic ability is uh, just amazing. Uh, but <laughs> I think to see her show some emotion um, after being so composed and uh, staying calm throughout, um, you know, was wonderful. I mean, history is made the first medal for South Korea in figure skating, and it's gold. So um, good for her. I mean, she really conquered a lot. Mao, Mao Asada also made history, landing two triple axles.